Welcome back. Yes, I understand that he's decided to quit outright and not even ask for compensation. I'm a bit curious what exactly you said to him. Then again, perhaps I'd rather not know. Thank you all the same. I'm very happy to be rid of that man. Something has actually come up. A prospector recently came through here and spent a lot of caps on supplies. Closer inspection of these caps has revealed them to be brand new. This is a problem. The most likely source of these new caps is the old sarsaparilla bottling plant. Go there, locate the bottle cap press, and disable it. What would you like to know? People have been counterfeiting bottle caps forever, but it's always been small scale. A bottle cap press is a whole other threat. We can't have anyone devaluing our currency by mass producing new bottle caps. Certainly. Bottle caps do wear out or get damaged. Some people even insist on using bottle caps and explosive devices for some reason. We make it a point to scour pre-war bottling plants and recover or disable the bottle cap presses. Seems we missed one. Lots of little things. The paint on the label, the machining, the type of metal it's made from. I know there's counterfeit caps floating around, of course. Fortunately, they're very time-consuming to make, so the numbers are small. All right. Is there anything else I can do for you? It's been a pleasure. McLafferty's a hard boss, but she knows what she's doing, that's for sure. <laughs>